cut your finger? You can wrap it up in bulky gauze, or you can apply a plaster. And since we live in a society of quick fixes, the plaster wins out every time. So next time the little one grazes their knee, you'll know exactly what goes into making those sticky little bandages, called plasters. Plasters are made of various materials, but the main one is called ETS, a fabric which is elastic in only one direction and forms the adhesive part of the bandage. This 1,800 meter roll of fabric can make 1,800,000 plasters. A thin coating of glue is applied to one surface of the fabric. Then it's heated to 49 degrees centigrade in an oven to puff it up creating holes in the glue coating. Then the fabric is newly rolled up into 300 meter lengths. Bandages are of different sizes. These blades cut the glued rolls into strips of varying widths. These rolls are then stacked, ready for the next step. Application of the little cushioned protective pad. A machine cuts the fabric pads with finely honed blades that are sharpened every six months. The cushioned fabric is separated into narrow strips which will later be glued to the ETS fabric. The strips are now ready to be applied to the bandages. The bandage components are unrolled. The machine assembles them, then cuts and individually wraps them. The unprinted white wrapping paper which protects the plasters is applied. And now they proceed to packaging, where between 300 and 1,500 plasters are wrapped per minute. This roller perforates holes, which allows the plasters to be easily separated from one another. Small plasters are fabricated differently. The cushion strip is positioned at the center of the ETS fabric strip. The cushioned pad isn't yet sterilized. That comes later. The next step is to apply two plastic paper protectors over the glue-covered ends of the plaster. Once done, the plaster is drawn by suction with a robotic arm and placed between two wrapping papers. In slow motion, we see the wrapping action better. At full speed, it can wrap 300 bandages a minute. Bandages exit the machine perfectly wrapped. Certain types of plaster have to go through a sequential bandage machine to have aeration holes pierced in them. These holes allow air to circulate and help promote healing. The plasters are now ready. Sometimes instructions are printed onto the plaster wrappers. Two polymer plates receive ink from a series of rollers in order to reproduce the desired design. The plasters pass through at incredibly high speeds. Before being packaged, they're finally sterilized. 10,000 at a time. The plasters are automatically counted and placed in a chute and fall into the packaging box. The large roll of ETS fabric seen at the beginning will have produced nearly two million bandages. Each year, this factory produces a staggering four billion bandages in 65 different models.